Welcome back guys. So today we're going to do a uh, unboxing and kind of a quick review of the UNSC Marine Series 6 World of Halo figures. Um, so some of you know I am located in Las Vegas, Nevada. I bring that up because it's interesting. We never um, got Series 5 here. We uh, skipped Series 5, the one with the Arbiter. Um, I think Sergeant Johnson's in it as well. And we went straight to Series 6, so that's what I f started finding in the stores. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing a review on. Um, so we'll get right into it. Front of the packaging here, uh, UNSC Marine with Assault Rifle, Series 6. Got a picture of Chief. Um, nice clear box. These definitely look um, very uh, more contemporary, modern looking boxes that we have. Um, this looks like it's a Halo 3 Marine. Um, it might just be in Halo Infinite Marine. Um, not sure. But uh, we will go ahead and check out the back of the box real quick. So there we have the World of Halo scale, Series 6 individual figures, Halo Infinite. So in this wave, I didn't pick them up just because I did, honestly, I did not really feel the need to. Um, Halo 5 Chief with the Assault Rifle, Atrios, Atriox um, with the Chain Breaker. That's a cool name. Spartan Anubis with the Cyber Shot, or Cinder Shot rather, sorry about that. Spartan Bucks with the Assault Rifle. UNSC Marine, that's the one we're going to review, and the Skirmisher with Mangler. I do have another video of the Skirmisher, so go ahead and check that out when you get a chance. So without further ado, we're going to go pop this guy out of the package. All right, and there you have it. The Halo 3, I'm going to go with that, and I'll tell you why just in a second. Um, World of Halo Marine. This guy is a cool figure. It's a good figure to army build, if that's what you're into. The reason why I'm collecting these World of Halo figures is, at some point, I want to create my own, like, uh, Believe um, set up with like a diorama from the Halo 3 campaign ad. I always thought that was a really cool one to really build the hype for the uh, game. And uh, these figures are perfect for that. They're perfect scale. You're not going to have to build a giant dio if that's the route that you're going to go. We'll get a little bit closer look. Again, this is a quicker review. These figures don't have too much to go into, but a little bit of stubble. I don't think I needed it, but it is there. So that's cool. Got the little visor here as well um, with the helmet uh nice kind of combat green uh color like an olive drab with some camo on the pants uh these are just the basic joints so uh let's see you got the arms here they're on two um again i i have to look up the joint names but uh i'll just show you the articulation how about that you can go about that high the shoulders kind of hinder it a little bit just because um they're kind of pointed towards his chest area um or upper shoulder area if you will and you have these right here on both sides as well. So he can articulate fairly well there for, for the size of the figure. It's very worth it. There we go. Your basic joints, nothing too crazy. There's no, uh, not really a rocker here or anything like that. Um, da -da -da, same thing. Here's what they look like in the back. Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, no sidearms that he needs uh, a peg for or anything like that. So um, he just comes with the your standard issue assault rifle. Uh, the reason why I wanted to say it was a Halo 3 Marine earlier, it's just because the way that this uh, assault light rifle looks. It's just your standard one that we've been kind of getting with some of the figures here. It looks exactly like the one that we got with the Halo 3 Chief that came with the Arbiter, the GameStop exclusive uh, Warthog one. Comes with the peg, there's a peg hole in the back there. Mine has a little bit of a splotch of paint. You can see that a little bit better now. Just right there, not a big deal, just fine. One thing I will note, it I don't it's very hard to get this. Um, you have to really kind of bend the plastic here. Let me see if I can do it here. One second. It doesn't fit too well. It bends the uh well, not too bad. Kind of have to definitely, uh, there we go. Eh, not too bad at all. Go ahead and zoom in. Uh, he does hold the gun. This could have been a little bit thinner, this uh, grip area, but not a huge deal. Um, he's going to look fine on the shelf. No issues there. There we go. Uh, getting ready to give Chief the gun. All right. So um, overall, good figure. Uh, it's a good one to army build if that's the route that you're going. Um, let's just do some really quick comparisons. Again, I, this guy uh, was a quick review. 
there's not too much to these figures to talk about. They are good for what you're getting. This is $9.99 US dollars if you're in the United States. Um, and I think it's good. I mean, if you're looking to army build or create like a mini diorama, that's these are the perfect scale. And for what you're getting as far as paint and articulation, they're pretty solid. Like something like the stubble. They didn't have to do that, but they did. So let's go and do some comparisons. Okay, and there you have it, guys. So that is the comparison um, picture right here. I'll move them to the side a little bit. Um, you have the Halo 3 Master Chief from the GameStop exclusive Warthog collection, and then, or set rather, and then you have the Arbiter from that same exact set. Comes with the Warthog, the Chief, and then the Arbiter, and there's your Marine right there in the middle. So I did do a measurement. He comes up to about three and three quarter inches as far as the Marine goes. So that's um, for a comparison um, with other figures. That's about like your Star Wars vintage scale um, figures that they make. That's kind of where he lands. Chief is about right under, uh, he's about four and a half inches. And then the Arbiter comes up to roughly about five, just right under five inches. Uh, taller than the Master Chief, obviously. But that's just a scale comparison for you. So he does scale well. These guys are supposed to be bigger than the Marines in the game. And as you can see, the figures, these are all World of Halo figures, but they are bigger than him in the um, in this series as well. So definitely a good good way to army build, create dios, create scenes. So um, probably people, I think uh, in this series, the Halo 4 Chief was the multi-packed one. I think there's only one figure of each. I could be wrong other than the and other than the uh, Halo 4 Chief. Uh, each one of these is just one per case. Again, I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I've been seeing people pick up at Target. Um, and one thing I wanted to mention as well is it doesn't, this figure does not come with uh, any of the bases. These two are for these two figures here, um, the Chief and the Arbiter, but it does not come with one of these bases um, that we've been seeing with the World of Halo. If you've been collecting World of Halo, you already know that you probably have a bunch of extra ones that come in these, uh, the uh, uh, UNSC uh, like checkpoint packs. Um, so you're getting extra ones there. Um, but as far as this figure goes, it does not come with a base, which is fine. Um, he stands fine on its own, but just an FYI. Other than, that, other than that, guys, thank you for listening to my review. And uh, what do you guys think of these figures? Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next review. Thanks, guys.